Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett, men armed with their rifles conquering the American West. They were expert marksmen without any of the high-tech scopes and high-velocity charges that today's sharpshooters take for granted. But today there is still one master marksman who uses the original cast iron sights and 18th century design to pull off shots that even Davy Crockett would find unbelievable. In just a moment, Dave Gullo, the world's greatest long rifle sharpshooter, will try to hit this 16-inch target. No big deal? Well, consider three things. He's using a gun over 120 years old, he's using old-fashioned iron sights, and that target will be over 11 football fields away. The distance to that target is so great that the bullet's taking about three and a half seconds to get there. Dave is a leading authority on antique rifles. He's been shooting these old and rare black powder guns for about 20 years and is an eight-time national champion. Typically, this rifle, I use it in competition at eight, nine, and a thousand yards. But today, for Ripley's, the little metal target will be set out at 1,123 yards. That's over two-thirds of a mile. It's the longest shot Dave's ever attempted. It's so far out there, it's almost impossible to see with the naked eye. I could barely see it through the sights. It's just a, just a tiny little fuzzball is all it is out there. Very small. The low velocity that we're shooting at makes it more challenging to hit a target. At this distance, the low power of the rifle means Dave will aim high, about 50 feet high, just to get the bullet there. The instant that bullet leaves the muzzle, the laws of gravity is working against that bullet. So consequently, you're aiming well over the target in order for it to arch and actually hit the target. At that distance, you're really lobbing that bullet in. And to ensure the utmost control, Dave even makes his own bullets. That barrel is rifled, and that bullet is spinning at thousands of RPM. And if there is a air void in one side of that bullet from a poorly cast bullet, it's going to affect the accuracy dramatically. Now is the moment of truth. This is the longest long rifle shot ever attempted. Dave gets himself into position. Loading the chamber with a single round, he checks, then rechecks his old-fashioned iron sights. He hopes for the best, but Dave expects hitting the target will require more than a few tries. After carefully lining up on the barely visible target, Dave fires. Incredibly, Dave hits the target the very first time. It's an amazing shot, and Dave can't help but be pleased. But it's skill, not luck, and Dave goes for another round. Right in the center. I am able to lean over, look at my spotting scope, and actually see the bullet impact as it happens. Long before the sound of the gong comes back to us. Dave gets two in a row, and though he's proved he's the best time and again, he never gets tired of hearing the sound of a solid hit. After all these years, it still just surprises me that you can hit that little speck out there with iron sights. It just never ceases to amaze me. 